Gary Neville, Roy Keane, and four other pundits offer Eric Ten Hag verdict ahead of Man United review. Latest Manchester United as Eric Ten Hag waits to discover whether he will remain at Old Trafford as the club review the 2023-24 season. Manchester United will have a decision to make over the future of manager Eric Ten Hag as a review takes place over the club's 2023-24 season. United ended the campaign on a high, winning the FA Cup and securing another season of European football. It's United's second trophy under Ten Hag having ended a six-year wait for silverware last season by winning the Carabao Cup. But their Premier League performances have been poor with United finishing eighth, their lowest top-flight finish since 1989-90. Below are what some pundits have had to say about Ten Hag and his Man United future as the Dutchman waits to discover his fate. Gary Neville I don't see a suitable replacement for Ten Hag available, Neville told Sky Sports ahead of the final. Bayern Munich are struggling to find a replacement, others are struggling. I think we need to stick with Ten Hag and give him one more season, an injury-free season, to see if United can get back to the standards of last season where they won a trophy and finished in the top four. Players and managers have struggled to come to terms with Old Trafford in the last 10 years. These players and managers were great when United signed them, so there is something fundamentally wrong that is creating this difficulty. Maybe the new ownership and personnel will allow these players and manager to feel more stable. Jamie Carragher This is one of the most poorly coached teams in the Premier League, Carragher said about Ten Hag's team on Sky Sports after their 4-0 loss at Crystal Palace on May 6. That is a fact. That is not an opinion. That is a fact. The numbers tell you that when you see them bottom of the league defensively, lower than Sheffield United. I struggled to see how United would win tonight but I thought Palace would win 1 or 2 nil. No Manchester United team should be getting beaten 4-0 by Crystal Palace. Manchester United's U23 team, if they are at Manchester United, have come through their academy, have been coached and taught to play, I would still not expect them to lose 4-0. I have never been a manager or a coach but I have been a player and I have been coached by top coaches and some of the things that I see are just wrong. Rio Ferdinand The more and more I think about it, win or lose, I don't think Ten Hag will be there come next season, former United defender Rio Ferdinand said ahead of the final on his 5 YouTube channel. I'm not saying that's what I want, I'm just saying what I believe is going to happen, and I believe that the club are going to look elsewhere I think. I don't think, winning the FA Cup, changes anything in the eyes of INEOS. I've not spoken to anyone there, this is just an assumption, this is what I think. Roy Keane Keane believes the club needs to be backing the manager despite a lack of tangible results this season. Speaking on ITV's coverage of the final, he claimed, we know there is a decision that needs to be made. We spoke about the pressure the manager is under and the questions he got before the game, it's always difficult when you are preparing for a cup final. I always think of football, you have to reflect and enjoy the game today. You see the staff, the players, and the supporters, just cross that bridge when you come to it. The manager has done his job today. He's been heavily criticized because of their league form. We gave him plaudits last year when they finished third in the league and won the league cup. This year, real problems in Europe and they have had their injuries. Beating Man City in the cup final is always an extra bonus. Fingers crossed that they support the manager, but let's see how the next few days go. Teddy Sheringham The owners, the people in charge, have got to have a look at the situation and say, is that good enough for Manchester United? Sheringham told Sky Sports. It's a fantastic end to the season, no doubt, and fully deserved and I love the way he's brushed things off that if Manchester United don't want me, I'll go and win trophies elsewhere. But at the same time you look at where they've finished, I think it was 14 defeats during the season, it's not good enough for Manchester United. They need to be in the top 2 or 3 pushing to win the league and at the moment, they are nowhere near it. Sam Allardyce Speaking on the No Tippy Tappy Football podcast, Former Premier League boss Allardyce reckons Ten Hag's job would have been safe if it weren't for the fact Sir Jim Ratcliffe came in. The big responsibility is how many of the new players signed by Man United are his responsibility, or is he responsible for? Because if he's responsible for them he hasn't done very well, Allardyce said prior to the cup final. 
That's Man United's big, big problem for the last 10 years now. Asked about the decision on Ten Hag's future already being made irrelevant of what happened in the FA Cup final, Allardyce quickly answered, that's only because Sir Jim Ratcliffe has come in and Dave Brailsford. If before that, and it was just the Glazers still, I think he'd be alright, still be in the job, next season, because he's got to another cup final, and he got to a cup final last year. Manchester United players have highlighted Roy Keane's mistake on his list of players to sell. Man United's players crowned Diogo Dallo as their player of the year earlier this month in recognition of his importance in 2023-24 Diogo Dallo was crowned Manchester United's players player of the year last week, following in the footsteps of fellow countryman Cristiano Ronaldo. Dallo was an almost ever-present figure for United this season, featuring in 50 of their 52 games in all competitions. He started all but three of their 38 Premier League matches and chipped in with three goals. In a campaign that saw United's squad plagued by an unprecedented injury crisis, Dallow remained injury-free, only missing out on one matchday squad all season, and that was due to suspension. No outfield player racked up more appearances than the Portuguese point one of the most improved players since Eric Ten Hag took charge at Old Trafford two years ago, the Portuguese international has established himself as one of United's most important players. He has improved in almost every department of his game, proving dependable at both right-back and left-back. This summer, United are planning to make changes to the landscape of their squad and the addition of a new right-back has not been discounted. The club is understood to be monitoring Bayer Leverkusen ace Jeremy Frimpong. Dallow's performances this season, however, mean that United should not be prioritizing the position over others. Had Luke Shaw been available more frequently this term, Dallo would have almost certainly played at right-back more, opposed to switching flanks, with Aaron W. E. N. Basaka providing competition. What's more, the fact United's players voted Dallo as their player of the year speaks volumes about how they have recognized the standard of his performances this season. He rarely put a foot wrong throughout the campaign, establishing himself as one of Ten Hag's most reliable operators. Dallo's performances this season may now force United legend Roy Keane into a U-turn. Back in December, Keane, alongside Gary Neville, played a game of keep, last straw or ditch on the Stick to Football podcast, where Neville went through the whole squad and asked Keane and other pain lists to choose what they would do with each individual player. Keane said that United should ditch 10 players at the end of this season and Dallow was among them. Neville agreed that Dallow needed offloading. However, United's players, as proven by crowning Dallow their player of the year, appear to think otherwise. The Portuguese international, who will have ambitions of starring at Euro 2024, is unlikely to be shown the door this summer, with WEN Basaka a far more likely candidate to lead the fullback department. Dallo is under contract at Old Trafford until June 2028 after putting pen to paper on a new deal 12 months ago, Gary Lineker forced to apologize after controversial comment about Man United star. Ruud van Nistelrooy was the subject of a joke by Gary Lineker on Match of the Day as the BBC presenter was forced to apologise to Manchester United fans Gary Lineker found himself in hot water with Manchester United fans after making a joke about former player Ruud van Nistelrooy. The Dutchman scored an impressive 150 goals in just 219 games during his five-year stint at Old Trafford, and was not amused by Lineker's quip on a past episode of Match of the Day, reports The Mirror. The story was recounted on the Rest is Football podcast, where Lineker was discussing memorable nicknames for ex-players and colleagues with Alan Shearer. He recalled the controversy that arose after he made a comment about Van Nistelrooy's physical appearance. Talking about long-faced ones, the one time I got into a bit of controversy, about, something I said on telly, he said. Do you remember Ruud Van Nistelrooy had a long, face? You know those post-match interviews that we show just before we come on to analysis, he came on and in this particular shot, it looked like, he had, the head of a horse. Lineker went on to reveal the backlash he faced from United supporters following his jest at the former striker's expense. They just won a game and he didn't seem very happy so I just said, come on rude, why the long face, and I got so much stick from Man United fans, I apologized, he remarked, after hanging up his boots in 2012. Van Nistelrooy took up coaching and experienced a successful stint with PSV Eindhoven, leading them to the KNVB Cup prior to his departure in 2023 due to perceived lack of support. He recently confessed his appetite for taking on a coaching role in Spain, as well as the Premier League. 
I would really like to work in Spain, and I have had conversations with Spanish clubs, he divulged during an interview with Spanish publication Diario AS. But also the other leagues in which I have played, I want to coach there too. In the Premier League, and the Bundesliga.